What is up guys? Back for a another video. Um, been about a week and a half, two weeks since I last played. And I'm excited just to have fun. Um, I'm wearing this shirt. Uh, my my stepmom got it for me for Christmas. Um, but it's Sunday. It is 5 o'clock right now. Gonna go play, have some fun, get some good content. We are at 399 subscribers at the making of this video right now. So uh, hopefully I will surpass 400 by the time I get done editing this and post it. That'd be nice, but if you uh, haven't sub subscribed yet, please drop a like, subscribe, comment, and uh, I hope I do well. So love you guys, and a uh, big announcement also, I proposed to my girlfriend, so uh, I'll put a picture somewhere here. But anyways, hopefully I get some of that new, newly engaged luck, but I will see you at the poker table. All right, guys, back for another poker vlog, and we're getting a nice hand to start with. So this is a few hands in, and we got ace, queen, offsuit, and I'm going to make a nice little healthy bet up to 250. My uh, my dog is just snoring. He's sleeping, so if you hear anything in the background, that's just him. But I'm going to end up getting not one or two, but about three or four calls here. No respect for uh, for my game, which I am pretty happy that they don't respect me because you will see later in the video, I get some solid spots um, and some solid some solid uh, action from people that are non-believers. But we're gonna get down to a flop with my ace queen, and you know what is better than having a pretty solid hand? And absolutely smashing the board, getting queen, queen, four, two spades. And I'm working on my editing. So the pot is 1.1 thousand. And I have tripped queens with the top kicker. Eight of spades is going to allow for some flushes to get there. But based on how the action went, it doesn't seem like anyone's really interested in this hand. I make a nice bet of... 200 and i'm gonna end up getting just a little bit of action um maybe this maybe this looks a little bit bluffy but the player to my left which is gandalf he's a awesome dude i mean him talk a lot the whole night he's gonna end up giving me some action he's gonna call and we're gonna get down to the river and the river is going to not really change anything too much jack of clubs is going to come off so i suppose maybe nine ten gets there but I'm going to check, hoping that he blasts off. He shows his cards. And, of course, I'm good with my three queens. I'm not going to lie, guys. That new graphic looks pretty pretty awesome. But I got five three of clubs here. And I am in the uh, small blind. So I'm going to put a little squeeze right here and raise it up to 300. Um, or I should say make a bet up to 300. I'm going to get about three calls. And the flop's not too bad. Flop's going to end up coming out. And it's going to be six, ace, deuce, one club being the ace of clubs. So right now I do need a gut shot for a straight, which is not bad at all. I could get backdoor clubs. So I have some pretty a pretty decent amount of equity on this board, especially when the pot is 1.8k. And Gandalf's going to put out a small bet of about 275. I didn't want to lead into him. I'd rather check call because I didn't want to build the pot up too much. So I'm going to uh, make the call with my equity because it is a pretty decent amount of equity. And it gets even better whenever we get down to the turn. And the turn's going to give me just a little bit more. It's going to give me the five of hearts. So I don't really love this because, sure, I guess you could say three, four gets there for a made straight. Um, but I have a three, so that's a blocker to that. So I'm not too worried about that. I'm putting my opponent on possibly a ace or a six. And because he has on an ace, when the board comes out seven of hearts, essentially putting in, um, you know, putting out a straight out there, a three or four makes a straight. I'm going to put in a nice bet, hoping to, you know, get... A fold 
because 8-9 even gets there. And he's going to make the call. I say good call. All I have is a 5, and he shows ace-9. So he did have a blocker to the 9, but it is what it is. He wins that pot. Nice job on that Gandalf. I'm either, re -ra I'm either re raising or I'm folding. I'm not looking at my hand. Okay. He's doing something. Re raising, dude. Wow. Daniel, you're going to buy green. So you did eight, right? I did. 16. 16's a bet. So, yeah, guys, tough spot for Jake there. So. Um, I'm in the small blind here, and he was under the gun. He raised it to 800, and when action folds to me, I look over and I say that this is never, this is this is never going to be a call, and I'm right about that. It's either a raise or a fold. Either my hand is not strong enough to continue, and I'm going to fold to that, or I'm going to make a raise and really put him to the test. And with an, a suited ace, I want to do that. So let's see what happens. Don't lose. I don't think Ace King really hits that flop, so. But I don't think they have that. <laughs> Did you just say you have Ace King? No, I think you have Ace King. But I'll just do twelve. Twelve hundred. First of all, <clears throat> I don't appreciate. <laughs> Did I get your hand right? For sure. <laughs> Green chips. <laughs> Did you get my hand right? No. Um. I guess I'll play smart poker, right? I'll fold. <laughs> you know, I've made a very loose re-raise, but I hit the four. All love, Jake. That was a crazy last hand. And this time I have ace-king. Um, but no, I honestly was nervous that Jake had an overpair. Um, honestly, the only way that what I do works, like what or what I did works is quite literally if he has exactly ace king or ace queen and he hits nothing. So I got lucky. I would not advise making a loose, you know, raise like that into the aggressor, but I got lucky. It's poker. Is it dumb? Absolutely. Jake's a great sport. Jake, I appreciate that. Sorry for that, but you have to admit that was pretty epic so please comment if you think that was pretty gnarly but anyways i have ace king here um i raised pretty uh i raised a 24 after a initial raise of 800 so i made a three bet and then the player to down to the right he goes all in um i'm it's about three thousand more for me to call and i'm going to end up calling this and you're going to end up seeing the run out ace king and he ends up showing pocket tens so it's a flip right now and let's just say this run out gets pretty wild i just want an ace not good, not good news for, All right, not good news for me good and bad at the same time queen oh, oh it's about damn time that some bad luck went towards me i'm sorry uh, sorry I'm a river rat, but <laughs> if you see, have you seen my how bad, how bad I run? Thank goodness. So crazy last hand, and I'm not even lying, guys. The very next hand, I have Ace Ten of Hearts. So I don't like betting this out, like leading, but I like calling with this hand. Two days, I'll make a call typically. I know with Jake, I. Uh, you know, I ended up re-raising him, but in this case, I want to protect, um, and I'm going to end up making the call here. Um, Ace ten is not strong enough to re-raise, my opinion. Good enough to see a call, see some equity, hopefully, and you know, you know, notice what you have. And I really flop the world right here. Um, flop comes to us to a spades, and then Jack Queen of Hearts giving me. <laughs> giving me 80% of a straight flush, the best hand in poker. And I'm absolutely just going crazy, especially when my opponent leads into me um, for not a too big bet. So it's 1600 into a 2600 pot. So over it's over half size pot. So that's I guess it's a pretty decent bet. But for me, I just have way too much equity. And when the turn comes, the three of spades and the pot 7.4k, I still have a lot of equity. Any you know, uh, any king makes my makes a straight. The nuts at that, you know, be it at that. 
uh, any heart gives me the nut. So at this point, I'm loving life. Another About a $2,500 bet, which is a down bet in comparison to the size of the pot. I'm going to make the call. Player down to the right goes all in. And of course, me and uh, the other opponent are going to make the call. So ends up being a pretty, pretty solid pot. I'm hoping I'm honestly hoping for you know a king because it's very sneaky makes it look like I'm on a flush draw or something and maybe it misses but instead you know it gives me the best possible hand the nuts if you will when the river is the five of hearts it is putting a straight out there so I'm hoping my opponent maybe hit a straight um, the pot's 19.1k at this point I only have one thing I can do I go all in trying to induce a call because it looks bluffy he ends up folding and then the all-in player shows i think he had uh like jack ace or something ace jack or whatever i end up winning that huge hand so yeah at this point guys i am probably chip leader with about forty-two thousand queen 10 of clubs a little bit loose here i have noticed that sometimes when i have a big stack i make some some loose calls and there was a bet up to 2200 here. Or actually, no, sorry. I let into people being, um, you know, towards the end of the action. Dealer button me to my left. I make a bet up to 2200 and I get one call being Gandalf. He's a pretty solid player. He makes the call. And we're going to end up going heads up, which I joke about him. I joke, that, I joke with him about it. I say, hey, we're going heads up like we joked about Turn's going to be pretty solid for me, actually. Ends up coming jack, three, king, two diamonds, leaving me open-ended, which I love. I got a, you know, hoping to hit the front door straight drawn. I got a back door club. So I'm loving life. I have a lot of equity, but, you know, all good things must come to an end. Um, I'm going to check this, obviously. I don't want to really put out a big bet, which maybe yeah, that's a mistake with, but... Gandalf's going to make a bet of 2200 I just have too much equity. It's a little bit less than half size of the pot. I'm going to make the call. And the turn does not improve me. It's actually one of the worst turn cards in the deck. Puts out the king of hearts. So you say, why is this the worst thing? Well, what is he calling with? Possibly ace king, possibly king jack. At this point, king jack has me beat. He puts out a bet of 1600 and it just feels like value to me. I know it's a lot less, but it just feels like value I end up making the fold because what can I do? Even if, even if I hit the ace, you know, I have to fold any bluff, so I lose that hand. So right here, guys, I get ace-queen offsuit, and um, not the best hand, but um, player down to the very bottom of the table, she's going to end up making a pretty big bet of 2,400, and I want to isolate her. I'm uh, on the, or I'm, the sorry i am to the right of the button so there's only about you know one or two players left to act to act i end up going all in and it's because i don't know what she's raising with i think she could raise with honestly she's got any two cards in her range i honestly think she could raise with anything from ace deuce through ace king obviously all pocket pairs um so i'm hoping that she just has ace something because she is on a low stack and maybe she's just trying to pull a fast one um, but it's funny, I go all in and Gandalf just laughs at me. He's looking at me, he's laughing. He's like, oh my gosh, oh my goodness, he's laughing. He's pretty awesome. He showed the opponent to my right my hand. He did not show me. He folded and then everyone else folds. And it turns out Gandalf ends up having ace king. But yes, uh, the player down to the bottom, she's going to end up making the call I was hoping to get her to fold out because I covered her by quite a bit, and uh, I was hoping to steal a pot, uh, but with a pretty solid hand at that. You know, I wasn't stealing with nothing. I actually had a decent hand, um, but you know, she's gonna end up showing pocket eights. So at this point, it's a flip. I got two overs. I like what I, I honestly like uh, the amount of equity that I have. So it's pretty much a flip. Um, you know, genuinely, I guess I have you know, six outs, aces and queens. She's got like one, or she needs me to miss everything. Here we go. Yes. Yes. But not that one. Oh, oh well, game team four. Runner, runner, ace. <laughs> That's gross. No, 
Run she got a she got a boat. Runner runner ace. Runner runner queen. Oh. So see. So yeah guys, pretty bad luck. I'm I have a table change here. I have pocket jacks and I believe where I'm sitting is I'm sitting either on the button in the small blind or directly to the right of the button. But I'm one of the last people to act. With pocket jacks, there's only really one move to do, but it gets kind of hairy when one player goes all in. And I don't possibly think that I'm good here when uh one player goes all in. Um I'm not like too upset but i'm thinking some overs i end up making the i'm end up going all in myself for more you'll see me do that in a second i'm just thinking and then the player to my left goes all in uh you'll see all this kind of unfold and i'm like what in the world is going on i'm kind of shocked to be honest with you um jacks are not a bad hand by any means but you know i have to do it it's not something that i necessarily want to do um, but I think with pocket jacks through aces, late late stage of the game, especially when you're short stack like myself, you kind of have to let it fly. So um, yeah, when you see uh, me, I, I, I'm either already all in or I go all in. I'm kind of just looking at my hand thinking, you know, like what could they have? I'm putting them on possibly, you know, kings, maybe aces. I don't know. Um, hopefully at best, it's like ace king, ace queen, and I'm, you know, it's a flip. Maybe they have each other's outs. I show my jacks, and we will see a run out. All low cards. It's always face cards, though, man. All right, we have five. So you have we're gonna play five, and then pick it up from there. Ten. Ten. Come on. That draw. Thank you. All right, guys. So last hand of the night. And I was really happy to make it to final table. So, yeah, this is from the stream. So, yeah, um, RF Poker did a great job filming it. I love playing here. But, yeah, we're getting down to the final table. Blinds are pretty high. I was about the fourth stack out of nine when we got here. And, of course, my luck, my good buddy Gandalf, of course, He's going to just be looking down at an unfortunate sight for myself when he has pocket aces. I have ace check suited where the blinds are. I've got, you know, I've, I've got to go all in. So I go all in. Um, it's only six more to Gandalf. And then, of course, Sean's got queens. He goes all in over the top. So I feel a little bit better that maybe, you know, he has something like queens exactly, queens, kings, or aces. Hopefully not aces, but of course he's got queens. Gandalf makes the call. He's got aces. And I am pretty, pretty bad. The only thing I have is possibly a straight. Maybe the last queen comes out. Uh, maybe run, maybe some diamonds. I'm hoping for diamonds. Um, you know, I've, I've had some pretty good run good, but obviously... Going against aces and queens is not the best for me. Um, but, you know, it's been fun. Glad you could now see Gandalf, the man, the myth, the legend. He's the player to my left with the hat. So we're going to get out to a run out once Rachel gets the pot going. And um, hoping that I can get lucky here. But anyways, guys, if you made it this far in the video, please like, subscribe, comment. Um, tell me how you think I can do better with the vlogs. Tell me how you think I can do better with my gameplay. Tell me if you think this was, you know, oh, maybe I get out of this whenever the raise is up that high. But anyways, the run out's going to come nothing. Three, six, ten. And then it's going to come the last two cards, six, four. I end up losing, sadly, but I had fun. And that is the end of my night. What is up, guys? I am back home because I forgot to film an outro and I'm just making some some rice right now so yeah I'm back home um, so if you saw the last hand got ace jack suited in the I think I was second to act um, but that was the blinds were raised in best hand I'd seen all night and it was just one of those crazy hands that um you know, I woke up, there was aces to my right, queens to my left, and there's nothing I could do. So, um, it was fun. Um, it was a lot of fun, actually. 
um, played pretty good at some given points, and um, I don't think I had any really bad mess-ups. I feel like I played pretty solid, but I don't know, just uh, hoping to get better. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. Hopefully right now we are above 400 subs. I don't know by the time I get this video out, but please drop a like, subscribe, comment. Hoping to do a huge home game, uh, like a big fun family tournament next Saturday. So love you guys. Peace out.